I'll come back. Here we have a place value chart. I'm sure you're familiar with it already. The place value chart basically allows us to know the values of certain numbers. Let me illustrate it a little bit better. When you look at our place value chart, you see that when you look from the right, we have our units, which belong together, our thousands, which belong together, and our millions. And any number derives its value from its place. So for example, if I write this number here, then each digit derives its value from its place. Here we have a six digit number. So the six will be here, the eight will be here, the seven will be here, the three will be here, the two will be here, and the four will be here. And we know that each digit derives its value from the place. So for example, this six, it's not really a six, but six of the hundred thousand. So that's six hundred thousand. And the 8 is not just an 8, it's 8 of 10 of thousands. So 8 and all the other numbers after it become zeros. The 7, it's not a 7, it's 7,000. The 3 is not a 3, it's 300. And the 2 is not a 2, it's 2 tens, which are 20. And the 4 is not a 4, it's 4 units or 4 ones. And when you add them together, of course, you know what will happen. We get our number back. 4, 2, 3, 7, 8, 6. 687,324. Well, have a good look at this place value table. And we're going to use it to answer some questions in an interview.